Oh, okay. Uh, I'm Hector from OnSign.com and we're here with the lovely Emma Hewitt. Hey. <laughs> that many of us saw singing last night, many of us remember most of it. <laughs> and we're just going to ask her a few questions. I believe you're here until Monday. Yeah, Saturday. yeah, tomorrow morning. Not long enough, unfortunately. <laughs> As you can see, we have the great uh, Golden Bay Hotel. Yeah, it's beautiful. Hmm? It is. It's very, it's very special. <laughs> <laughs> okay, basically, I want to start with asking you about your performance. Um, this is the first time that many people have seen you perform in Cyprus. Mm. Um, how did you take the? How, how did you see them as a reception? I mean, did they take you well? Did you, how was their response? I think it was great. The crowd was fantastic. Um, I think they ended up getting twice the amount of people that they were expecting. So I think it was like four thousand people or something there. So it felt really like it. good. It felt yeah, like really it. good to see a crowd that's really going off and and not shy to get into it. It was good fun. Excellent. Which brings me on to my next question. You used, I'm sure you're used to playing at much bigger venues, or I mean, performing at much bigger venues with this Cosmic Gate and things like that. No, uh, no, it changes. Really. It's you know sometimes smaller, sometimes bigger. It's so four how, how, was a good the, how was like the beach party vibe? I mean, have you done that in other places? I mean, had that, how was that over for you? Yeah, actually, that's the first beach party I've done. Yeah. It was fantastic. It was great. The only the only close thing that I've done to it was um, a party in Las Vegas. It was a pool party. But cool, this so. was a much better vibe because, yeah, a lot more people and heaps more fun in Cyprus. It's all about Cyprus, much better. Man, yeah. Cyprus. <laughs> um, you've had a lot of massive hits with the DJs that are on top of the world right now. And, oh, thanks. <laughs> and um, if you could have a collaboration with anyone, dead or alive, in any genre, who would it be? Oh, that's a good question. Um, you know, I'd actually love to collaborate with Eminem, you know, on a Eminem. wish list. Yeah. <laughs> if, we could have a, if you can hook Get me up, touch. that'd be great. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Um, we've seen that you've released uh, a cappella versions or what they call them, without acoustic versions. Acoustic versions, yeah, that's it. Yeah. As you can see, it's a very early morning for us. Uh, <laughs> um, well, we'll be seeing an Emma Hewitt uh, artist album many times soon. Very soon, actually. I'm glad you asked that. Um, I've just finished the production on my first artist album, so it will be coming out. I think the first single will be out probably in about a month or two, and. Um, the album probably won't make it until maybe the end of the year, early next year, because we'll have. You're going to keep us waiting, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> no, well, it's done now, so we'll get it out there soon. I'm really, I'm really happy with it. Excellent. Uh, on the topic of musical talent, um, what is your response to the criticisms that electronic dance music vocalists are assisted a lot by producers in effects and synthesizers? And like what is your response? Do you think that's fair on vocal vocalists in trance or? You know, I don't. I'm, I'm not really sure to be honest because I don't. I haven't personally worked with any of the other vocalists. Um, for me, I always record everything acoustically and then send it to the producers. So things aren't. You know, things work the same acoustically as they do as a produced track. But I think in any genre, as you get in pop music, you get some people get their voices altered and some people are as they are. But you're pure Probably the acoustic. same everywhere. Um, yeah, I always like to record things as they are and, and leave it that way, you know, Excellent. so that you can do it live because if you can't reproduce something live then it might and get rather embarrassing, I guess. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, across the island we have many talented youngsters who want to become vocalists or singers. What would be your advice to get to where you are now for, for them to do? Um, I just say don't ever give up. Just keep trying and if the door closes, just keep knocking until another door opens. And, um, or just get someone to punch the door down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Kick the door down. <laughs> yeah, but just don't give up because music's one of those things where you get a lot of setbacks and, and you know, you just got to keep pushing through. Excellent. Um, well, you, sold, you told us this little secret about your album coming out. Um, what else have you got hidden away for us in the coming year? I mean, what have you got planned? Um, Any well, secrets you want to let go? Oh, I we wish there mind. was some secrets, but um, to be honest, I think because I've been working so long on the album, it's pretty much just the rest of the year is going to be the focus on getting the album released and Excellent. everything. Um, hoping to do another track with Cosmic Gate. We're working on something at the moment, so that should be coming out hopefully in the next few months. Um, talking about it last night, so we'll see where that leads. You and mean also, they were the... up to talk last night. <laughs> early, it was earlier. Oh, okay. sense, <laughs> Before the gig. No. no, they were. They were so far. They were good. Um, and uh, Tiesto Lewis tracks coming out. So excellent, well. excellent. Mm. If you had to describe um, live electronic dance music events in three words, what would they be? Uh, huge fun parties. <laughs> Great. I like it, <laughs> that was I like really it. bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was like <laughs> Basically, oh, clearly um, my brain's very tiny. When <laughs> we found out that we were going to meet you, we posted on our Facebook for our, our followers to 
tell us if they could ask you any question, what would it be? Okay. And we've got some of them for you. Great. Um, Charlotte from Limassol would like to know, um, when you choose songs or are asked to work on a song, do the lyrics play a big part of the decision whether you go ahead with it or not? I, I always write the songs. You write your own yeah, yeah, the lyrics. So, um, a producer will often they'll send me a track, the chords, just the music, and I'll write the lyrics and the vocal melody for that. And so I listen to the chords and think, does anything come to me? You know, sometimes you hear a really great track from a producer, and unfortunately, I don't get inspiration to write anything. Or otherwise, you sometimes hear a track from an unknown producer, and you, and yeah. something comes out straight away. So, yeah, so it's it's just about the feeling, I guess. There you go, there's Charlotte's answer. Uh, William from the United Kingdom would like to know, um, are you hiding any more chart toppers like waiting from us? Which you said about your single coming out. Is well, it going to be a chart topper? <laughs> I hope. You never know. You don't have to lie to us. <laughs> I really hope, but you never know. You never know how things are going to be re responded to when they come out. So you can only hope. We're waiting patiently, we're waiting patiently. <laughs> okay, Penny also from Limassol would like to know how it feels to be uh, what many regard as the voice of vocal trance. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, I don't, um, I don't regard myself as that, so I don't know. Many do. <laughs> I just feel the same as always. <laughs> Excellent. Always smiling, as you can see. Uh, Carl from France actually uh, asked if there's some sort of special chemistry between yourself and Dash Berlin, and that's why you keep collaborating with them. Um, well, yeah, I love the guys. They're, they're great guys. Um, I, I'm lucky though I've worked with a lot of producers that are all fantastic guys. The Cosmic Gate guys are amazing. Um, Dash Berlin guys are great. We get along well. But the songs that we did together, we actually did at a very similar time. Waiting and Disarm Yourself were written at the same time. They just took a long time to release Disarm Yourself. So, um, But yeah, I'll work with them again, definitely. They're great. Excellent. I think one of the most important questions that everyone's thinking is when will you be coming back to Cyprus? Hopefully soon. I think I don't want to leave. <laughs> Excellent. It's so beautiful here. It's going to be cold going back to London. I don't want to go. <laughs> we know that feeling. Yeah. Well, I'd like to thank you for your time. Um, thank you to all, all the people from Mons Island for taking your time out to speak to us. Oh, thank you. Thanks for and coming to speak to me. <laughs> thank you for the performance yesterday. It was smashing. Oh, thank you so much. I had a fantastic time and I love Cyprus and I definitely want to come back very soon. <laughs> right.